What is the Ireland and world you want for young people? It's a tough question, but uh, we're here today in the opening of the YMCA facility. And if you look at everything that's rolled into here, it's, it's a wonderful space for young people. It allows young people to be creative, really, you know, they can use their, their own talents their own skills and in a non-formal setting and I think what we need to do the, the Ireland that I want and the world that I want is a is a place where yes you go through your your formal education you need to learn the basics obviously but the Ireland and world that I want is a place where young people can really can flourish and not feel uh, hampered by their sexuality not feel threatened by you know things that are happening at home you know a, a space really where they can really flourish and grow and turn into the adults that they want to be. And that there's nobody blocking them from doing that. So if you want to be a doctor, you, you know, you can go be a doctor. If you want to be a ballerina, you can go be a ballerina. You know, if you want to be a technologist, an aid worker, because I think what, we're, what we will need to do is we, we need to make sure that young people are tuned in politically. And when I say politically, I mean, you know, active around things like the sustainable development goals, all the global issues that are going to affect the planet effectively, things like global warming, agriculture, climate change, all of these things. These are really important issues for the future. So what I want for young people is for them to be tuned in. But what I'm seeing here today is, is exactly that, which gives me great gr grounds for optimism because it's young people embracing technology. You guys are all digital natives effectively. You're tuned in, in in a much better way than people like me are. And you have that wherewithal to connect to anybody in any other part of the globe, which means that we can only do good things if, if we have that kind of technology and we know how to use it properly. So it's young people coming together, making a change and, and really thinking about others, not just being you know, just individuals. Individuality is a good thing, but what I want for young people is for young people to kind of look outwards as well. But I think young people are doing that. I'm seeing great evidence of that. Thank you. And what advice would you give to young people who are involved in activities to identify one local action for global change? Well, if I was trying to identify one local action for global change, um, I think what, what you have here is through your Zambia project, for instance, you've, you've identified a link with uh, a project in Zambia. And what you've done is you've kind of taken the official dumb out of it. What you've done is you've, you haven't gone through a non-governmental organization necessarily. You haven't gone through government. What you've done is you've connected person to person. So you've connected directly with those people. And I think if we can get more young people across the globe connecting with each other, so somebody who is 16, 17, 18, uh, living in Cove, connecting with somebody who is in maybe the Netherlands or Helsinki, connecting with somebody who is in Mali, Durban, you know, Dar es Salaam, Zambia, wherever it is. And if, if people are connecting, then I think what you'll, you know, one action for, one local action there is, is maybe thinking about connecting through your schools and getting all of the schools involved and, and schools connecting schools locally. If schools connect with each other locally, to take the transition year, that's a great example. You connect with transition year students in other schools in Cove, then Cove connects with schools in Mallow, then Mallow connects with schools in Dublin, then Dublin, you know, the whole country is connecting. So if you can think about that kind of connectivity and think about how powerful your voice can be as, as younger people, then that really uh, makes guys like me who are out in places like Addis Ababa negotiating sustainable development goals, it makes us stand up and listen. Just last week we had Ban Ki-moon, the Un United Nations Secretary General. He has appointed a special uh, advocate, if you will, for, for young people's uh, affairs, if you will. Connect with people like that. You know, use the power that you have, because you're a very powerful voice, uh, young people. And use that power, use it well. Uh, but the way to use that is, is true connectivity. Thank you very much. <laughs>